Say I've been grinding for a long time. Went through trials and tribulations, shit. I still kept a strong mind. I put it all on the line. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Think so much that my brain hurt and see stars in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. I made something out of nothing. Had to run on my money. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is your boy Robert here, YouTube on the budget, back with another video. Before we start, let me fix that. Before we start, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, push the bell notification, and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It really doesn't matter. Just give this video some thumbs ups or thumbs down, and make sure you drop a comment in the description. Well, not in the description. Just drop a comment below, guys, and yeah, we'll go from there. I'm at my boy Lucky's. Uh, Second, he has three in Houston. Second, um, rim shop. He's out here in Cypress area. So if you're looking for some rims, make sure you come to Tire Wheel and Master, guys. So I'm out here. I fit. I'm fit to. I'm about to figure out: should I go 37s or 35s? Uh, I really don't know, to be honest. Uh, I know the back for sure. I know the back for sure will actually do everything. I'm pretty sure I will be fine here. It's just the front. So as you can see the sign right there, guys, the number is 281-970-1800, guys. So if you are looking for any type of wheels, he has the best deal in Houston. He has three shops. Uh, the one that's close to my house is the actual Lucky Tire and Wheel one. But yeah, so I'm about to go. So these are 35. These are currently 35, 12.5, R24 LTs. And the problem I'm going to have with 37s, guys, is going to be here. Mainly probably here is the problem. I can take the crash bar off. I took the one off in the front. Well, straight up off-road, took the one off in the front. Take the crash bar off here. Uh, and that should be easy to take off. And then we're going to have to cut. So let me start my wheel. Let me start the truck up so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, when it comes to the actual turning, don't want to hit the Range Rover. Give me one. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. See. That's cutting it close. That's literally this key fob in between. So I'm gonna have to cut that. But I'm gonna run in here in real size, just real fast, and see what's going on. All right, guys, that was my boy Lucky Shop Tire Wheel Mark. So these are 37s, and these are 35s. So look at the difference of the wheels. I want to sit. So y'all can actually see, I'm 6'1". They come right here, all right? So this is how the difference. Oh, it's about like two inches, it seemed like. But these seem wider. These seem wider, way freaking wider. So I'm pretty sure with the 35s, I don't have to cut nothing, guys, because it's a guy on um, Facebook. He uh, has these on 26s with a 6-inch lift. He had a cut a little bit, but not a lot. But I don't know, man. I really want to go 37s, guys. It's like a... It's a 2-inch difference, man. But they're not stretched no more. The wheels are sitting here. Which is what I need. Um, if you look at the tire, it seems like this one's wider. But I really want the 37s. What y'all think? Comment below. Comment below what y'all think. But these are one of the tires that I didn't want to do. So what Lucky said he's going to do before we mount mine up, he's just going to get some 26s that he has just like a demo somewhere around here. And we're gonna mount them up to these tires and put them on my truck. But yeah, that's the difference. Let me get me a quick thumbnail.
I don't know, man. What y'all think? Comment below, guys. Uh, it's a huge difference, man. Huge difference. Am I willing to cut? This ain't that but plastic, so huge freaking difference. All right, let me go talk to Hill, see where the wheel's going to be here. But, yeah, if y'all need some wheels, man, we got wheels everywhere. He mainly, he does lifts here, too, lifts as well. Uh, so make sure y'all come here, call him, whatever. He also finances, no credit check, whatever. He has all the wheels, man, a lot of wheels. If you just look around, look how many wheels he has. Lexani, whatever wheels you think he has, man. I remember I wanted these wheels, these velocities back in the day. But whatever wheels you want, he has American Forces, TISs, some of these wheels I've never heard of. He has replicas, he has American Force, uh, dually wheels. Like I said, whatever wheel you want, fuel, Holliston, AFC, of course. TIS again. He has four Giados, dubs, every single thing. Even got muster wheels. Guys, so fit to leave Lucky's, well, Tyrewell Mart. Like I said, guys, they got the best freaking deals in freaking Houston, man. Um, I, I want to tell y'all, man, I'm really on the fence about going 37s. But I do want a beefier tire, and I feel 37s will be the way to go. Uh, 35s looks good at all, don't get me wrong, but I just want a beefier tire. So 37s will, will be the way to go. But I don't know, man. Y'all comment below. Y'all tell me what y'all think I should go. Uh, like I said, I'll take y'all suggestions. Ugh. In consideration, man. Uh, I really, really, really want to go uh, 37s, though, man. I really want to go 37s. Those 37s that you see was the actual wheels. I mean, the tires. Those were actually uh, some 22s, but I didn't feel like uh, he went to the back and they was way up there. So I didn't feel like I didn't want him to go actually to the back and get them all down. Those 22s is just right there. It was just showing you how high it is but it's the exact same height uh but it's gonna be 26s man guys i really want to go 37s i just don't know if i should do it or not man i really don't i honestly don't know if i should do it or not okay so yeah like i was saying but if if, if possible guys uh could y'all comment below to tell me the benefit of going 37s um but either way it go, the look is not going to be stretched no more. So that means I won't have the issues I'm having now with these tires and wheels. The, well, the tires mainly because the stretch look, they didn't have, I should have waited. I was, they told me to wait. Lucky told me to wait. But I was so impatient, ready to get the damn wheels on my car, on my truck. And I didn't want to wait to they come out with some new 37s because, I mean 35s for these wheels. Because they didn't have just straight up tires when I got these wheels. So now they have them. And I should have just waited, uh, to be honest. Um, I'm glad I'm going 26s, man. Hopefully by Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, they'll be here. They're shipped already. So hopefully they'll be here soon. And I will be attending the, the LST uh, truck show, which is Long Star truck show long star truck shows long star texas i don't know but i will be in that show guys well my truck will be in that show i'll be there sunday um yeah man i can't wait bro like y'all just don't know i'm ready to go 26s it's gonna actually what's the crazy part is by me going 26s and bigger tires the truck is going to sit up a little bit higher uh than normal i think it's going to sit up like two to three inches higher uh, so that's another good thing, but it's time for me to get the electric step ladders, man, because I feel, and a lot of people told this, my whole boy, King, uh, 250 told me this. He said, uh, 
when you take off those factory step size and get the electric ones, without the step size, it makes your truck look lifted higher. So, and it's true because I looked at another truck, F-150, that was lifted six inches. And from the looks of it, it looked like it was lifted just like my truck. But when you get up to it in reality, it wasn't. And he just did, he just had electric step size. So I will have to uh, look around to see if I can get some used ones because y'all know I'm cheap as hell. Uh, I was waiting on uh, Lug International and all of them to try to sponsor me, but they never came through with it. So it is what it is. But I, I do appreciate them sponsoring me on all my other stuff, like the window shield thing. They did the uh, the actual bug deflector. Uh, what else they did? They did the actual rear um, bed cover. So I do appreciate that. Uh, and everything but other than that man comment below guys 37s or 30 37s or 35s man which one do y'all think i should go how will it benefit my truck uh oh damn look at that truck right there guys that bug is clean they got a little soapbox truck on the back that bug's clean uh but i know two reasons two things i know about 37s and 35s the 35s won't be stretched no more so that's a positive thing right there the 37s, I will get a little higher lift them. Well, not lift, but it will sit up a little bit higher on my truck. Uh, so that's another positive thing right there. Uh, what else is positive for the 35s? Uh, it just, I think it'll give it more uh, aggressive look. Uh, 35s, I like how they uh, the premieres look. They just look a little bit more wider. So that's just how those tires are. But I don't know, man. I don't, I'm new to this car, this truck stuff, man. But 26 is coming soon. I told y'all I was getting them. Um, and the next thing will be interior. I'm just waiting on my interior guy to hit me up. Uh, but I still don't have a design on what I want to do in here. Uh, I honestly don't mind the cotton. But your boy want to get back in some leather. Um, the charger is still not for sale. And guys, I'm going to hit up the dealership uh, probably end of this week. If... If I can't if I can't sell it, I won't see if they can chunk up to like 12 to 13, 14. Nah, probably. I won't see if they can push it to 13k. If they can give me 13k for it, guys, I'm just gonna let it go, man. I'm ready for the scat pack. I'm new. I'm ready for a new car. Um, and I got a lot of stuff that people are scared to do on this tr on this charger. Y'all know I push the limits on this stuff. Uh, a lot of people are asking me, inboxing me on my Instagram, what look I'm gonna go for. Um. Will I be the first one to bag it? I don't think I'm going to actually bag this charger. Uh, honestly, to tell you the truth, I can really take off the bags on that charger I have, take it completely out, and try to sell that, try to trade it in like that. And that's what I might actually do. I might take it to mod effects, and I might rip out the suspension and just put the factory suspension back and take that suspension and put it on a scat pack. Now that would be sick. And I don't have to pay for it. I just gotta pay them to uninstall it and install it right back. And that'd be the, I'll be the first ones with a, a true eye body from the dealership bag. Damn, that sound good, don't it? But other than that, man, that's all I have for the video, guys. Y'all have a blessed day, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.